Hello friends, today we will be doing Math Kangaroo Contest 2021 uh, level 7 and 8 or the cadet level. We will do question number 1 to 8. So let's just start. Which of the following symbols for signs of the zodiac has an axis of symmetry? Now axis of symmetry means like if you draw the axis of symmetry and you fold it, the both the figures have to overlap on each other. Now, if you see option number B, if you draw a line of symmetry, you don't have this line here. So this is not my answer. Similarly, if you draw a line of symmetry, you don't have a circle here. So C is also not my answer. If you draw a line of symmetry, these will not overlap. The figure will somewhat look like this. So this is again not an answer. Similarly, E is not my answer. If you draw a line of symmetry here, both these, you know, this line, the, the figure on this side and the figure on this side will overlap on each other. So my answer is option A, which has, uh, so Sagittarius has an axis of symmetry. Let's go to question number two. Uh, the figure shows three concentric circles with four lines passing through their common center. What percentage of the figure is shaded gray? Now, if you divide this figure into two halves and then let's see what figure is shaded. So this part is shaded and these two parts are missing. So suppose if I take these and put it here, right? And I take this part and put it here and I take this part and put it here. So I get half of the figure as shaded or 50% of the figure is shaded. So my answer is option number E, which is 50%. Let's start with question number three. Question number three reads as follows. How many squares could be formed by connecting four of the 10 marked points of the grid in the picture? So if you have you have 10 of these points, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So how many squares can you form? Now, this is a simple one. We can do one square. We can do two square. This is something that everybody can figure out. Now, which is the, now can we draw any more squares? So let's try this. One, two. So this is one more square that I can draw. So I can draw a total of three squares in this diagram. So my answer is option number D. Let's read now question number four. How many four-digit numbers have the property that their digits from left to right are consecutive and in ascending order? Whenever they talk about four digits and the digits, so let's remember how many digits do we have in all? So you have what, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So entire mathematics, all the numbers are made from these 10 digits. Now, they're talking about how many four-digit numbers have the property that the digits are from left to right are consecutive. Very important. Consecutive means immediately one after the other, like one, two, three, four. They are consecutive numbers and in ascending order. So let's start. We can't start with a zero because if we start with a zero, then it will not be a four-digit number. It will be a three-digit number. So the first number will be one, two, three, four. Then the second number will be two, three, four, five. Then you do three, four, five, six. Then you do four, five, six, seven. Then you do five, six, seven, eight. And we do six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you now we can't go beyond this because if you go beyond this, it'll become seven, eight, nine, and ten. So this will become a five-digit number. So that is not possible. So how many such numbers are possible? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So my answer is option number B, six. Let's now go forward and read question number five. Question number five says, each of the five vases shown has the same height and each has a volume of one liter. So they have the same height and the same volume. Half a liter of water is poured into each vase. In which vase would the level of water be the highest? Now, which one will have the highest level of water? The highest level of water will be the one which has the narrowest base. Now, if you see D, if you put half a liter of water, since it has a very broad base, the level would be, say, so much. Here again, 
it has a broad base and this has an equal base and this again has a base here or uh, as in it it broadens here so in in case of a if you put it you will have the highest level of water so my answer for this question will be question number or for question number 5 will be option number a Now let's go to question number six. When the five pieces shown are fitted together correctly, the result is a rectangle with a calculation written on it. What is the answer to this calculation? Now, whenever you have questions like this, it's it's like a Lego or a jigsaw puzzle. You have to see these edges. Well, where are these edges? And the one that you'll start with is this one because this, you know, in case of a rectangle, so you have a straight surface onto the left. So you will start with a two. Now, in case of two, you have to see that you have this. So the number or the next piece has to have a hollow like this for the for the piece to fit in. Now, uh, if you do two, then you get a 22 and it ends here. So this will be my, uh, this is not the option. So you will choose this piece. So this piece will be like this. So you have a minus and then the thing that will fit in here is you will take a one. Because one has this thing which will fit in and then you will have a zero. Because zero will be like this. And then you will have a two. So actually the expression will be two minus 102. And the answer will be, the answer will be minus 100. So the answer here would be option number A, which is minus 100. Now let's read question number seven. A student correctly added the two two digit numbers on the left of the board and got the answer. So this is what they're referring to and got the answer 137. What answer will he get if he adds the four digit number, the two four digit numbers on the right of the board? So the numbers that we have is ADCB and CBAD. Okay, and here what they have given us, AB plus CD is 137. Now, we are not going into the breakup of the digits, but if you observe, like if you break this up like this, right? And if you see this, you have a B plus D. So you have a B plus D, which will equal to seven. And A plus C or C plus A, commutative property of addition, this will add up to 13. So you do 13 and you put a carry over of one. Now, same thing. B plus D is 7 plus 1 is 8 and A plus C is 13. So the answer is 1, 3, 8, 3, 7, which is option number B. Now let's read question number 8. Brian is 5 cm taller than Aaron, but 10 cm shorter than Karen. Darren is 10 cm taller than Karen, but 5 cm shorter than Aaron. Which of the following statements is true? Now, whenever you have these questions, let's just make a small diagram. So you say Brian is 5 cm taller than Aaron. So suppose Aaron is here. So Brian is taller than Aaron, but 10 cm shorter than Karen. So Karen is taller than Baron and uh, Brian. And then you have Darren, which is 10 cm taller than Karen, but 5 cm shorter than Aaron. Now, if you assume, you can take this as any number just to have a calculation. So, suppose if you take A uh, as 0 centimeter. So, what will be the height of B? B is 5 centimeter taller. So, this will be 5 centimeter. And uh, then C, but 10 centimeter shorter than Karen. So, Karen will be 15 centimeter. Right? And Darren is 10 centimeter taller than Karen. So, 15 plus 10 is 25. And uh, Aaron is 5 centimeter again, taller than Darren. So Aaron becomes 30 centimeters. So this is just a relative number. You can do it with a 10 or a 100, or any number, just to get a relative comparison. Now let's look at the option Aaron and, uh, so let's just say A and E have equal heights. No, that's not the answer. Aaron is 10 centimeter taller than Aaron. A is not 10 centimeter taller. In fact, A is the shortest. So that's not my answer. A is 10 centimeter shorter than Aaron. No, because he is 30 centimeter shorter. And so you have an answer in option number 
E that Aaron is or A is 30 centimeter shorter than Aaron. I hope you liked my video and uh, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.